the expression 2 log x minus the quantity 3 log y plus log z is equivalent to which of the following? So this is actually a fairly easy problem if you remember the rules regarding logs. Uh, if not, it's almost impossible. So let's do a quick little review. We're not going to go over everything that has to do with logs, but just a couple of things that are relevant to this problem. So let's talk about a couple of rules. So I'm going to write these in general, not so much uh, in relation to this particular problem, but let's recall that if you have a constant coefficient of a log, so suppose you have some number a times log of x, right? Notice now I'm not including the base, so if you don't write anything here for a base, then it's assumed that the base is 10 and that's fine for illustration purposes. It actually doesn't matter what the base is. These rules are always true for logs regardless of the base. So if you have a log x, that's equivalent to log of x to the a. That's the same thing. So you can take the coefficient and remove it and make it the exponent of the thing that you're taking the log of. So here you're taking the log of a, well, I'm sorry, log of x, so you can say, I'm going to make the a an exponent of x, and then we're taking log of x to the a. And you can also write this part in parentheses if you want. That's not required. Okay, so that's one rule. And another rule is that if we're adding or subtracting logs, then what does that do? So let's suppose now we have log of x plus log of y. Well remember a log is an exponent. A log is the number that you would have to raise the base to in order to get what's here. So actually I'm going to just step back for one minute and give you a kind of a general definition of logs where I am going to include the base. So log with base b of some number x equals why? What does that really mean? What that means is that you're taking this base and raising it to the y power and getting this result x. So this this statement is exactly equivalent to saying b to the y to the y power equals x. This is a this is actually another way of saying the very same thing. The log of base. So if you were given b to the y equals x, you could solve for y by taking the log of both sides, right? You take the log of the left side and you would get log base b of b to the y equals log base b of x. And what is log base b of b to the y? It's the number that you would have to raise b to to get b to the y. Well, if I had b and I was going to raise it to a power and get b to the y, I would raise it to the y power, right? So y equals log base b of x. And now we're right back where we started, right? That's, that's the exact same statement as we had up here. So that's a little definition of what logs are. And, and I really strongly recommend you get a lot of practice with logs so that you deeply understand that definition. and and. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do here is just remember the rule for adding logs. So log of x plus log of y. If a log is nothing more than an exponent, then when we add them, when we add two of them together, we're actually multiplying. Um, so this would equal log of xy. And by the same token, so that's one. So now we've covered three different rules. So this is a rule. this is a rule and we're going to do one more let's just subtract so now what if I gave you log of x minus log of y what would you do with that well it's similar here if you're adding two logs together then you're really multiplying the exponents I'm sorry if you're adding the exponents If you were multiplying x to the a times x to the b, 
x to the b, you'd be multiplying two things together, you would add the exponents, right? This would be x to the a plus b. So here you're adding exponents, therefore you're multiplying the actual terms. Here you're subtracting exponents, that means you must be dividing the two terms. So this then equals log of x over y. Now that's kind of a long-winded review and it certainly does not cover all of what you need to know in the way of logs, but it gives us enough to solve this problem. So in this problem we have 2 log x minus 3 log y plus log z, but this is a quantity so let's first distribute this negative. So I'm going to re just rewrite this now, distributing that negative and stripping away those parentheses. So we'll get 2 log x, 2 log x, minus 3 log y, minus log z. And now I'm going to use the first rule that we stated to make these coefficients exponents on the things that we're taking the log of. And I missed the y here, so this is log y. Okay, so log of x squared, right, I'm making the 2 an exponent of the x, minus log of y cubed, same idea, and here we just still have log of z because there's no coefficient, and now this is being subtracted, right, it's log x squared minus log y cubed minus log z, so we must in fact be dividing. So if we want to put this all on one log, we can do that. It's going to be log of x squared over y cubed and z. And that looks exactly like choice one. Choice number one.